Recently, Morocco in Africa has been hit with earthquake of nearly 6.8 magnitude. Now, before going into the reasons for the earthquake and the geology and geography regarding it, let's first quickly have a introduction about Morocco. Now, Morocco lies in the northwestern part of Africa and towards the northwestern part of Africa where the Morocco, uh, where the Morocco lies. Now, this is where the Morocco lies across the Gulf of the Strait of Gibraltar. Uh, on the opposite side of which is Spain. Now, since it is influenced by the regions here, you have uh, the regions of Algeria, uh, Western Sahara, which is located below it. Now, this area, the uh, language is definitely, it's Arab, Arabic as one of the languages, French from the other end, from the European influence, French is another language and Berber is another language. The currency is Moroccan dirham and the capital is Rabat. Now, one of the major rivers that flow through here is Dra. Um, the most common thing which is consumed by the people here is mint tea consumed with sugar. Uh, approximately of the size and the shape similar to California we can say here is the capital which is Rabat. Now the most important thing is here the mountain range that runs is the Atlas mountain range. Now Atlas mountain range that runs through Morocco has been in the regions of Northwest Africa. Now the neighboring nations as well as I mentioned is Algeria. Then you have Western Sahara on the other hand. Uh, the most important thing that you need to understand about Morocco is so far Morocco did not witness any major earthquakes or natural disasters. It was back in 1960s when the Agadir <coughs> earthquake actually was witnessed in the regions of Morocco. However, later on there have been GPS techniques which are also known as the geodetic techniques through which we determine how the plates are moving. So there are actually the two plates. So one is the European plate on the north side and African plate on the southern side. Now both of these plates over the time period are coming close to one another. Now when they are coming close to one another, the southernmost part of it would be the areas which would have the tallest mountains in the case and also <clears throat> this whole region which was once part of the huge supercontinent which is known as Pangaea has been separating. Now. <clears throat> The earthquake which was recently witnessed was near the region of Marrakesh and closer to again the Agadir which was one of the um, earthquakes that took place in 1960s. As I mentioned the magnitude was 6.8. Uh, fatalities have been really, uh, found in the regions because this has been one of the major um, earthquakes which has been witnessed over decades in the regions of Morocco. Now, when the plates are moving, they are actually moving at a rate of one millimeter per year. Now, when these plates are moving close to one another, there are collisions that would be created. But at the same time, the region is being affected by reverse fault. We have understood in our lectures on structural geology, the concept of faults, the various types of faults and reverse faults are so a very important topic for those opting for geography optional as well. Now, because there was a reverse fault, what would happen when the plates are colliding? When they are colliding, they would cause the crust to thicken in that area. And this would be one of the reasons why the rocks would shift across the fault line. Now, based on the shift across the fault line, the intensity of the earthquake would be determined. And this would be um, actually seen through a series of aftershocks as well. Uh, in our expected class questions in the complete lecture series, we have also discussed the concept of Coulomb stress transfer, which is again very important and definitely this topic becomes an extremely important topic for your upcoming examination as well. Because if there is a question on earthquake and you are mentioning about Morocco earthquake with the, uh, with the geography, the concepts of reverse fault, uh, why this region was affected by uh, one of the serious earthquakes and there can be future possibilities of such earthquakes in the region. So that ultimately makes it a very unique answer and yes, Marrakesh is part of Medina which is one of the uh, UNESCO heritage sites which has been damaged in the region. So this was about it. Uh, the more explanation and the details on it would be given in the link below. So uh, 
do follow that thanks for joining in today